So, I don't know where you are, but I am in uh, New Orleans. That's in the United States of America. The date is October 25th. And hey, if you are a kindred spirit, let me welcome you to National Magic Week. We're kicking it off with a little live magic session. Been a busy day for me today. I already did a short where, what do you know, I promoted National Magic Week uh, via uh, a little... Uh, FYI about the SAM. We'll talk about them in just a moment. Well, hell, we could talk. Why don't we talk about them right now? Let me talk about the SAM. I'll pull this website up in the background. This is the Society of American Magicians. This is the group that created the S, the uh, Magic Week. I say they created it. This was a uh, effort established by the organization, which was established in the early 1900s. This is their website. It's magicsam.org. And uh, if nothing else, I like to put some eyeballs on this, uh, this site because this is, uh, this is an organization that is directing attention towards the youth of magic, which more than ever needs some attention. And in fact, is one of the reasons that I am on YouTube today. But hey, if you, uh, you know, if you need some learning resources, uh, local club, most major cities have a, uh, a magic assembly that's associated with the Society of American Magicians. And they even have a national organizations, so you can check that out as well. And hey, I just wanted to take a moment and put some eyeballs on the fellas that are trying to keep eyeballs on magic. I also want to say they have a society of young magicians, and they even have an organization for people who might just be a fan of magic. I think they call it Friends of Magic. Y'all can go check out the Magic Sam site and learn more about that there. So that's the name of that tune. Nice to see some kindred spirits in the uh, chat. How y'all doing? Thanks for showing up. We're, we are going to do some magic. What would Magic Week be without doing some tricks? And today I have a, a, a loose inspiration to do some shuffle magic. And I'll tell you why in just a moment. And hey, chat, I'm going uh, I'm gonna to give you some Q&A time. After I do a few tricks, I, I want to get a little bit of magic in, and I, let me note here, I am on a bit of a schedule today. Right after this stream, I'm doing a member session. That's at 4 p.m. Central Time. That's exclusive for members. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Let me do some magic for you guys. This is a, uh, when people ask me, like, what is my favorite card trick? This comes into mind. When people ask me, what is some of the most challenging magic you've had to learn? This trick comes to mind. It's also a shuffle trick, and that's kind of my, this is my uh, uh, loose playground for the day. My sandbox will be in the shuffle arena. We'll talk more about that as this stream goes on. And this wonderful piece was created by a gentleman by the name of Paul Gertner. Uh, some of you may have seen me do this. It is one of my favorite card pieces, and guess what it's called? It's called Unshuffle. Yeah, this fits the shuffle premise perfectly. Let me repeat this process here. I'm just dividing the deck exactly down the middle, exactly down the middle, and interweaving every card with every other card. This unshuffles the deck in the process. And again, when you get it right, those marks tell you. You can see it's a visual, the visual aid, if you will. I'll do it one more time. The culmination of three long, three long months of lonely practice back in the summer of 89. Ah, the good old days. And here we are with a little AMSR, the ASMR. Regardless, it is unshuffled, and it is what it says it is. Check this out. It's a new deck order now. That's Ace through King of Hearts. That's the clubs. Ace through King of Clubs. That's the diamonds. Kissing Kings. That's new deck order. There's the spades. And this is a new deck order. And that is Paul, Sh Paul Gertner's. That's a floppy fan. Paul Gertner's unshuffled. Hey, I hope you like that. Well, if you did like it, let me tell you here what you can do. You could, you can maybe, uh, you can maybe hit the like button, or you could follow me if you haven't done that yet. Subscribe, share this stream with a friend, or feel free to leave a comment on the uh, video below. This appeases the algorithm and lets us know we're putting in some good magic uh, work here. For what's it for? Well, today it's for National Magic Week. At least that's the loose uh, premise I'm using today. That and shuffling. Let me take a note and mention to the regulars uh, that are in the group that are used to me doing lives on Thursday or Friday. I also do lives Wednesday, and as part of this Magic Week, I'll be live doing a uh, weekly Wednesday magic lesson. I'll post that in the community tab, so if you haven't subscribed, do that now so you get those notifications. And then Friday, I should mention this as well, 
we're giving away the, da -da -da, one of these Grateful Dead decks. Grateful Dead decks. Uh, for the full scoop on this, you'll want to tune in to my last live video. I can give you the short skinny here, but there are some things. You want to follow me on Instagram and look for this, where it says win one. And you can just leave your YouTube screen name there. But you also got to comment on the YouTube video. So you got to go find that live anyway. And maybe while we're talking about these Grateful Dead decks, I can do a little something with it. And uh, let me tune back in here. And as I... As I open this pack and give some loose shuffles, let me say hi to the chat and uh, see what y'all are up to. So, uh, hi from Turkey. Greetings. Always love an international visitor. I'm sure there's a few here. You saw Williamson do that? Yes, indeed. I think I saw him do that on the Google uh, on the Google meetup, right? There was a Google. That's a great trick that a lot of professionals use, especially corporate guys, because it works so well with... Uh, I'm going to give these a loose mix. This is the Charlier mix. I'm going to give these a loose mix. You're here for the <clears throat> mastery of the dark arts. For that, you're going to want to tune in to the master class post stream. This is an overhand shuffle. And pre stream, I was thinking about this uh, Hindu mix that I never used. But the real, the real shuffle I want to talk about today is this riffle sh shuffle. This is uh, often used to simulate a casino style mix. And I wouldn't say I'm an expert at this, but this is the method that we're going to be talking about today. In particular, it is Steve Drawn's technique for the push-through shuffle. Can I possibly cut an ace to the face? I'm just going to do it the hard way. <laughs> cut an ace to the face to demonstrate the deck to be in new deck order. Yeah, that's a deck in new deck order. Those are the jokers. Maybe we can do a trick with those if we need extra time. But just to point out, so you can get a good look at these pretty faces, these are all the spades. These are all the diamonds. Hello, Germany. How you doing? I see you there. Hello from New York. You want to go to Alaska? Watch my videos all day? I'd love to go to Alaska. These are what the clubs look like. These are what the spades look like. And this today is my loose curriculum for the uh, members Monday session. I'm moving our Monday session. Hey, members, I'm talking to you. I'm moving my Sunday session to Monday. So my loose goal moving forward is to do live events like this every Monday and then follow it with the member session. I got a couple reasons that I'm doing that. And as I say this, let me also say, I'm taking the first week of November off. We've been going hard all summer in more ways than one. And uh, maybe I've been going too hard. Maybe I'm getting sick of my face. We're not going to make, make that happen because I'm going to take a week off of everything. Maybe some shorts. I'll probably do some shorts just because I like doing that too much. But uh, hey, every day this week, I'll be live on some platform. Wednesday, the lesson. Friday, I just shot the other bird. Sorry. Friday, the giveaway. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm live on TikTok. Those will be random live events. If you don't follow me there, it's the same thing as Instagram, at Conjure. That's with two N's. And... Uh, I should also mention this. We could do this as we segue to our next bit. And how are we doing on time? We're breezing. I can take a breath and drink some water before I talk about conjure.com. Please and right along. So, uh, Barksdale, if you're a member, you get access to the Discord server. And I will post a... Uh, you're, I, see, if you're a member like Marty, the ace shows up. Or you get the emoji, and I know that. So... Uh, but I will post Discord access again to the members. That's all going to change, though. That's going to open up to you guys as soon as I figure out how to make member-only folders in Discord. All right, so speaking of shuffles, and this is a loose integration. And uh, I did mention TikTok lives, right? Trying to get all the mentions in. But this is one of the products I sell at Conjure.com. So if you want to do magic and don't want to do skillful things like I've done in this stream, well, you can opt for something like this. And this deck is great for creating the illusion of skill, especially for this shuffle trick. So there I go with shuffles. And boy, it looks like I'm really shuffling the pack. I mean, if you didn't know, you would think that's a well-mixed pack. I'm loosely here guessing the position of the aces. I'll be using those positions for the upcoming effect. That's where I attempt to divide this deck exactly in half. And again, I'm not really doing this, but hey, the deck makes it look like I am. So again, watch as I do nothing and I do it very well. That's 26 on the left. That's 20. Oh, I missed one. 26 on the right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
26 and 26. How do you know that? Well, this is what I do. I just put all the black cards on one side. So that's all the black ones. This is all the red ones. Yep, that's all the red ones. That way you know it's exactly half, 26 and 26. That is, that is one of the things you can do with a stripper deck. There's, this, is a, this is a variety tool. There's like dozens of routines, and I teach you a couple when you buy the deck. You get, a, get video instruction from yours truly when you make purchases at conjure.com. You also get the knowledge that you're supporting your favorite creator when you make these purchases. International visitors, sorry, can't accommodate you yet, but it is on my radar, and I'll be trying to right after the new year. I'm just not up for that for Christmas. All right, so going down my list of things. Did I mention the member rates? What do we do if we want to join you on the on the membership, Mr. Khan? Well, you got to go. Let me get this thing off of here. So many buttons. We're learning all the buttons, bringing you all the tech, multiple cameras, graphics, and websites today, folks. So there, a dollar gets you access to the live events. If you want to learn fall shuffles in particular, that Steve Drawn technique. Plus, you get access to all the other lives. There's like, a, I don't know, a bunch of them. I do them every week. But not next week, because I'm taking a day off. And again, those are moving to Mondays. $4.99, that gets you access to the advanced tutorials. And then $20 gets you options for a live uh, a live one-on-one -on -one sesh. That's right, private magic co coaching, or we talk about soup. It's your choice. And that's, that's what we do. That's what we do on the members. And today we're talking about shuffles. And this is why I'm doing shuffle tricks today. Just because I felt like it. Hey, Texas, I see you there. Rodrigue is ready for the international purchases. I hear you, but are you ready for international postage? Like 20 bucks for me to mail something. So, you know, when people consider purchasing a $12 deck of cards, when you tack on $20 shipping, kind of like a no win, but some people want it and I'm here for you folks. So if you want it, I want to be the person that uh, gives it to you. All right, so one of, the, one of the things I'm not going to talk about today on my shuffle, I will briefly talk about it, is the triumph, the triumph effect. Hold on, let me, let me, let me address this chatter here. Hey, Doug, I was walking around SLC, and this magician did a trick where he gave us a card deck box. He did a trick, he picked the card, he had to sign it, rip the card up, and, oh man, I started reading it, and now the anticipation is killing me. Yeah, Marty, you're right. Postage from the UK. It's yeah. I think it's uh, 18. I mailed two packages to Scotland last week's. Congratulations, winners from the DVD contest. Your DVDs are in the mail. Two packages to Scotland. It was seventeen dollars. Seventeen dollars per. Yeah. Mm. So the the card was ripped. We're learning now. The card was ripped. Here, I'm just going to loosely do this Steve Drawn shuffle again. And then it appeared back in the box. And you want to know, how did he do that? Well, who am I to tell you how he did that? Even if I did know, I probably wouldn't tell. And if I did tell you some weird thing, would you believe me anyway? Nah. Right, the triumph shuffle is one of the things I teach. It's the backbone to this mystery, and this mystery is also offered on conjure.com in addition to the member section. So it's a nice tie-in, and I, it's one of my all-time favorite card tricks. Uh, I, I like to think of this, in fact, when I do it as magic, as art. That's right, as art. Now, when most people think of the word art, card magic, you know, card magic is not the thing that comes to mind. You think of art, you might think of... Uh, painter or maybe a sculptor, right? A sculptor or a painter. Well, if I were a painter, this would be my palette, the reds and the blacks. And this is how I would mix the, pa the palette, shuffling the, the reds and blacks into one another face up and face down. So the palette is mixed. Now, every artist also needs a tool with which to work. And for this, I'll be using the pack itself as I endeavor to uh, construct a pasteboard paintbrush. I do so in an archaic, almost unorthodox fashion, almost as though I've never done the trick this way before. <clears throat> but watch close as we cross our fingers and hope to make some magic, I'm missing one already, uh, magic art. I've lost the Ace of Diamonds. That's a sadness. Let me just go through it. We'll find the Ace of Diamonds later. There's the Ace of Spades. Yeah, it's magic art. We're we're just painting. There's the Ace of Hearts. I'm gonna get a demerit for this from the from the society. Yeah, it's magic, 
It's magic art. I think if I just painted the ace, the queen, the jack, and the ten, this would be a, a pretty start to the royal flush production. Those are the diamonds that go with the ace that I'm missing. Here are the clubs. I hope these are the hearts. Uh, uh. And that is 99.9% .9 of magic art. I think we'll call this Picasso style. Maybe the last one we can find in a flashy fashion to bring this uh, demonstration to a conclusion. And that, for better or worse, is how you get through magic art. So what we have there is the culmination of 30 years of making making errors and refusing to just give up mid-trick. That's right, we never throw in the towel. Never give up. Flush brush, folks. Well, that, that wasn't really flush brush. That was some something else. All right, my attention is turned briefly towards chat as I'm going to start wrapping up this session with a reminder that if you want to see me live again, well, you have a few options. One is Wednesday. I think I've scheduled this event for 4 p.m. It's going to be in that neighborhood, maybe earlier. It's on the community tab. Go check the community posts and you can find it there. Friday, the live will be at 4 o'clock. Someone's going to win this Grateful Dead deck. And hey, here's a bonus piece of news. I'm giving away one of the new Tenyo tricks. Ooh, fun. Yeah, we're actually giving away magic this week. Uh, I've ordered, I'm going to say, not tell you what it is, but if you know Tenyo items, you know they're always fun. And I ordered one for me. I thought, why not get one for someone else? So as promised every day, every, every week this month, we have a giveaway. And this week, it's going to be a Tenyo item. Happy accidents. That's right. I am the Bob Ross of magic. And that is happy accidents. Negative space. I love the feedback, the positive feedback. My people are here. Thank you, folks. So, uh, Stefan says it's kind of late. Where I'm at in New Orleans, Louisiana, it's about 10 to 4, and then about, well, it's 12 to 4. And in about two minutes, I'm going to wrap this session up and focus my attention on the member session, which will be on false shuffles today. We're going to go over a lot of ideas. One in particular, I'm going to give a loose a loose introduction to all the fall shuffles, five or six of them. <laughs> hey, Paulock, it took me a minute to read your sentiment there. Kind words, always appreciated. Yes, I've been doing this a while. It's nice to have an audience in a uh, cyberspace. Always been interested in mine. Thank you for being part of that. Hmm. And greetings, Amanda and Rob, Rob. Thank you for the kind words. Hey guys, dig it. I read the comments you post. So if you have any questions post stream, please take the time to drop me a line. You can always email me as well. Do I have a button for that? Sure. Conjure at gmail.com. I'll answer you there as well. If you have any inquiries, find me, check it out, ask your questions. I'm a, I'm a human. I respond. Yeah. Uh, you know, Born and restored card. There's a lot of ways you can do that trick, bud. So maybe, you know, start searching. Fra Francesca, thanks for staying up. Appreciate you. And good to see you too, Marty. All right, guys, if you're still hanging around, I'll be live in the member section in about 10 minutes. Going to go uh, change the titles and the streams. And I don't think I have to do anything else but that. But I got to do that. And maybe I'll have another coffee because coffee runs this body. Stefan, timing is everything. Take a look at the community tabs. I post almost every other day when the streams will be. Do those bell notifications and maybe you'll catch me. Hey, Rodney, good to see you again, bud. Thanks for popping in. So, Stefan, I talked to Rocker Bomber a week ago, and I loosely have a plan to go do some video with him this week. But I spoke with him last week. He's in good spirits. He's busy. He continues to write and seems to be doing well. So, Jimmy, the, in, the entry to the deck is on last week's live video. I'm going to make you go look at it because I don't have time to, uh, to, do the, to, to do all the things again. Going to go focus on the next things, folks. I thank you for hanging out with me. Always appreciate the time, the attention, the energy. And that's going to be a wrap. <clears throat> Ciao for now. Au revoir.